To import a custom route into your 2018 Goldwing, you'll need access to the Honda Trip Planner website, and you'll also need a USB 3.0 thumb drive. That's very important. Now, I'm doing this video on, a, on my MacBook Pro. I'm going to use Firefox. You can use any browser. Go to the Honda Trip Planner website. You can Google that if you don't know where it is. And it's a good idea to go ahead and set up an account on this website. That, that way you can save your routes and get to them later if you need to. Up in the top right, you can see it says, Welcome Cruiseman TX. I've already logged in. So this is basically when you go to the site, this is what you see. If you don't see a screen like this that says Enter Starting Location, click on the Plan a Trip uh, link at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. And that should bring you to this page right here. The website is pretty intuitive. You start a route by entering a starting location. I'm going to type in my home address just for this example. As you can see, it pops up because I've entered this previously on other routes. And so you can just select it from the list. And I'm going to hit Enter Location. And now that shows up as a pin on the map, as you can see with a little A inside of it. The next step is to add a stop to the route. Now I'm going to put in my final destination, which is 3613 Apollo Court, Midland, Texas. Now you can see it added that to the map and it created a route. In this case, it's using the interstate, I-35, which is the fastest way to get there. You can choose the avoid highways option and it will try to come up with some back roads for you. And of course, there's, there's ways you can add your own waypoints to uh, take the highways that you want to take. Now you can see that the system has put the B pin uh, in Midland. That's the destination in this case. Um, but we want to add another stop. I want to add a stop in between. Now the system is really designed for you to add your stops incrementally as you go through the route. So A, B, C, D, E. So if we add a new stop now, it's going to be the C stop, and it's going to assume we want to go to B first and then to C. But there is a way you can add your in-between waypoints after you've set your final destination. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to zoom in using the little plus sign. And I want to make a stop in Clyde, Texas, because that's a place that I usually stop at McDonald's and maybe get a cup of coffee or something on my way to Midland. Now I'm going to zoom in. Now it will not let me add this waypoint to the route itself. So I'm just going to add it as close as I can get it for now. And then I'll show you what we have to do to kind of trick the system. To add a stop, you right mouse click and click Add Stop. And you can see I'm off the highway. I'm not adding it to the actual highway. And for some reason, the system wants to zoom out. Now there's my C stop. If you look on the left hand side where it shows the route, you see that the C stop is at the end. So it assumes I want to go from uh, Carrollton, Texas to Midland, Texas, and then go back to, in this case, Baird, Texas, because that's actually the where I put the stop. It, in my case, I think it's Clyde, but they call it Baird. That's okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to make my C stop. Actually, I want that to be the B stop. I want it to be before I get to Midland. I don't want to go all the way to Midland, then go all the way 150 miles back to Baird to get my McDonald's. Now, you'll notice as you hover the mouse over a a various stop or waypoint, you'll see three links on the right hand side, edit, rename, and remove. So you can remove a waypoint or you can rename it. And that's the first thing I want to do. I want to rename this stop McDonald's. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on rename and I'm just going to type in McDonald's and then save that and that will save the name of that waypoint. But the second thing I want to do is I want to get a closer look and see exactly where that waypoint is on the map. And you'll notice as I zoom in closer and closer, you'll see it's off the highway. And it's not exactly where I want it. Well, once I've created the waypoint, I can actually click and drag it onto the route as I'm doing here. I'm going to put it right on the highway near the exit where I want to get off to go to McDonald's. And that's how you can move a waypoint to exactly where you want it. Now next to each of the waypoints, you'll also notice two small arrows. And if you click on that, you can drag those waypoints to any position in the route. And this is what I want. I want to go to McDonald's before I go to Midland. So that way it's on the way to Midland. So now, uh, you can continue to do this for as many waypoints as you need and move them wherever you want, rename them. Now the next thing is to save that route. 
and they call it Save Trip. So I'm going to click on Save Trip, and we have to give this a name. And it's very important when you name your routes for exporting to your 2018 Goldwing that there's no spaces in the name. So you can see I've named this My Sample Route. In fact, I would go so far as to say it's a good idea not to have any special characters in the name, just letters. My sample route, I wouldn't put asterisks or exclamation marks or underscores or anything like that. I would just have it, my sample route, no spaces, no nothing. And that way it will export properly for use on the 2018 Goldwing. So the next step is to save the trip and then simply export it. You can see the option there, export to GPS. Now we're going to just save it to, in this case, my desktop of my Macintosh. I'm not going to actually save it to the USB drive because I want to show you another important step. So I'm going to save this to the desktop. It saves it as my sample route. And then when we go back to the desktop, you'll be able to see that file. It's a GPX file on the desktop. Now to transfer routes to your Goldwing, you have to have a USB 3.0 thumb drive. I have this one I bought from Samsung. It's 32 gigabytes, 3.0, and it's tiny as you can see. It takes up almost no space on the computer or on the Goldwing. So this is the one I recommend. You can buy it at Amazon or wherever you buy your electronics. Now we're simply going to drag our GPX file, the My Sample Route file, over to the Samsung USB thumb drive. And when we open up the drive, you'll see I have some other files on there. But there's our GPX files. They're at the top level. They have to be at the top level for the Goldwing to find them. You cannot put these in a folder. So I have three different routes. I also have some music files. Now the music files you can put in folders, like albums, and you can dump all your... Uh, mp3 files or whatever you have in there. Now with the bike turned off, let's put the thumb drive into the USB cable uh, inside the glove box, the cubby, and make sure it's in there firmly. Now turn the bike on and it should be able to read that thumb drive. So now we're ready to start up the bike or put it in uh, accessory mode and go down to navigation from the home screen. That pulls up the map. And when you hit the enter key again, you have the option uh, you have several options actually as you can see here you just use the knob to scroll around but I want to go to menu and when you click menu you can now scroll over to the routes option and click on routes and hit the enter key again and now you can see an option to import a route when you click on that it should let you see the routes that you have on your USB drive you can see I have three different routes like we showed earlier and I want to import my sample route. So if I click that again, it imports it. Now, I want to go look at that route. If I click on it, uh, it will pull up that route and allow me to set the destination. And it's going through and doing its thing. You can actually see the progress, the percentage of progress as it creates this destination in this route. But you'll notice something a little interesting if you look at the destination address, it's 4774 Gateway Street. That is not the address that I entered in the Honda Trip Planner. As you can clearly see, I entered 3613 Apollo Court, Midland, Texas, not 4774 Gateway Drive. Now, I don't know why it's doing this. This is not a new street or a new address. It's been there for at least 20 years. So it's not like it's something that shouldn't be in their database. All I know is I never had this issue with my Garmin. I never entered a destination where Garmin couldn't find it in its GPS. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I happen to be familiar enough with Midland, Texas to know that this Gateway Street is very close to Apollo Court. So I know it's getting close, but something's not right. But regardless of the address issue, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I'm going to make sure Honda gets a copy of this so they can see what's going on with the address. Please put your comments down in the area underneath the video. And please subscribe to the channel. Lots more videos coming. Lots more things on the GPS. And uh, hope you all are out there enjoying your 2018 Goldwing. <music>